Hi friends, welcome to A Wonderful Sheep and welcome to this haul slash vlog video. I've been trying to take advantage of all of the cultural opportunities that are available here in Seoul. So I have some vlog footage of cafes and exhibitions and just shopping around Seoul. And I wanted to share some of the cute and inspirational things I've gotten from some of these places as well. First up is in our mansion is as it says here an illustrated goods shop in um, the Anguk area near Gyeongbokgung Palace and I actually wanted to hit to this area because they were having they were hosting a paper cut illustration exhibition so I stopped by the exhibition on the way and you may not know that paper cut illustration is like my first love like paper cut collage is one of my first crafts loves that I discovered a few years ago and I made some postcards from that type of technique so I wanted to check out the exhibition and it was really nice to see the floral exhibition that they had and so I had a lot of inspiration from looking at that exhibition and then I headed to the the goods shop further up the street and there was so many people there it was hard to film so I tried to like get some snaps and bits and pieces but it's a very excellently curated shop of illustrated goods uh, there's so many cute little stationery shops in Korea and I'm due for another like stationery store favorite stationery store video or blog post I do have my soul stationery guide on my blog which you can check out but this was my first time visiting this shop and I really appreciated their curation of um, illustrated goods. They, they were very cute, very classy, like they had good taste. And it was so hard not to buy so much from the shop, but I ended up just getting one sticker sheet, limited myself to one. So let's take a look at this. Always appreciate when they, the store takes care to have like really cute packaging as well, like wrapping up your purchase as a gift. So they even have like their own little washi tape. They included some of their store stickers and I got the cat reading books sticker sheet. <laughs> there were a couple different sticker sheets of animals reading or like reading themed stickers. After looking at all of them, I decided on just this one. I like the simplicity of the cat drawings and all the different poses the cat is reading in. It says on the back that there are 12 different poses. I thought that was cute. Next up is just yesterday actually, I went to the Miniature Life Mitate Mind exhibition by Tanaka Tatsuya. You may have seen this artist on Instagram. They're pretty popular. They do really fun miniature uh, settings like they create these miniature little set pieces and they phot photograph them and my friend who was in town mentioned that she wanted to go so we went together and it was mind-blowing like I'm so glad I went to this exhibit because seeing these pieces both the physical pieces in person and then the photographs you know blown up on a large exhibition scale and then reading the explanations of some of um, the pieces and his process and his like just his creative thinking was so so mind-blowing so inspiring i was not expecting to be so overwhelmed by how cool and interesting and just yeah mind-blowing so i have some footage from the exhibition not great because i was too busy like trying to read all the exhibitions and just wrap my head around um his creative process which was just um, amazing but definitely check out his Instagram if you haven't and if you have an opportunity to see the exhibition like in person definitely go because the explanations are so worth um, learning about I picked up two postcards from the gift shop afterwards this one I picked up because I loved the explanation of the story so the Tambo pencil company asked the artist to you know make them something with their pencils so he took the pencils and the green pencils are bamboo and then whittled down to just the tips they're bamboo shoots and then the shavings are like dead leaves or like the soil around the bamboo but there's the title of the this piece was in english it's just hard bamboo forest which is clever hb forest and then in korean it's um, when the pencil gets shorter like your uh, education level increases and the reasoning is that like the more you study the shorter your pencil grows 
or shortens rather, right? And so the more you study, the shorter the pencil becomes, which corresponds to hopefully how much you've learned and how much, you know, smarter you are. Also in parallel to bamboo shoots are best harvested and most delicious when they're short and small. I just, like, there are so many pieces like that where there is so much wordplay with Japanese, but also English and just reimagining objects and the way we view the world. It was really, really cool. So in addition to the two postcards, I also got this paper clips yoga mat one. Um, I also got the little mini gallery book just because I wanted to remember a lot of these pieces. We were in there for over two hours and it was like I could have, if I had the energy, I would have loved to stay longer. So highly, highly recommend checking out this exhibition in real life if you can. And then after the exhibition, this is sort of a fun purchase. I was on Instagram and I saw a post saying that this shop, one of my favorite shops in Korea, Black Heart Pencil Shop, I have a, um, a vlog about it um, on my channel, which I will link. They had this new product in and as soon as I saw it, I was like, I must have it. <laughs> it's 100% not functional and 100% just pure joy, I hope. So let's check out what it is. I love the shop. I will, I don't, you know, I have a per particular like affinity for or like, um, like I don't collect pencils, but I just love going in there because the vibes, the shop is just so nicely curated and there's just so many interesting things to see. So I will go every once in a while just to see, just to get inspiration from that space, you know? Again, really appreciate the packaging. I didn't even spend that much money, but they always have like a little seal, a wax seal for your purchase. <laughs> this is what I got. Croquet mini golf pencil cap set. Basically, these are pencil caps that you put onto the ends of your pencils to make them into croquet mallets. And they also come with these croquet, I don't even know what to call them, wickets. And there's two little balls. So you can play like tabletop croquet with your pencils. Ah! <laughs> I can't wait to try them out. I will open these up at the end of the video. I'm also still like, I just like them in the packaging right now, but yeah. <laughs> just I saw this and I was like I must have so let's check this out in action at the end of the video finally on your mind which is an independent bookstore in Yeonidong in Seoul I also believe I have vlog footage from an old vlog back in the day of that shop as well love that bookstore I, I mean the books are mostly all in Korean but there's so many art books and then also like um, just independently published like little zines and postcards and lots of things that even if you don't speak Korean you would enjoy being inspired by the artists and creators that are in the bookstore but they every year have a bookmark exhibition and um, I think every year I check it out I love it especially now lately I've been kind of like getting into bookmarks because I'm reading physical books again even though I love my Kindle, I've discovered the library and I have like a stack of physical books. I'm like enjoying picking out which bookmark to use for my book. And like that's become sort of a small ritual for me. So I've been interested in making different types of bookmarks. So I was definitely excited to check out the exhibition. Don't have vlog footage because there was too many people. And I just couldn't film without getting people in the shot. And there are uh, several bookmarks that I was considering purchasing, but and a lot of really creative ones too, but I finally purchased just one bookmark set from an artist that I like. Again, appreciate the attention to wrapping your purchase, but I got a set of Mushroom Book Club bookmarks by Choi jin -young. I have some of her stickers and other pieces. I, I love her work. Her, um, you can check out her Instagram. I will link it below, but I love these bookmarks. And lately I've especially been really liking like animals or like things reading books. Like I like the idea or I like that motif of different um, like creatures with books. Obviously, like you saw me, I bought like cats reading books. And then this is mushrooms reading books. And they're kind of illustrated like, I kind of want to say like a tarot card set, but we will open this up and see the full set. 
well i'm sad that this had to be punched through but it says mushroom book club and it says don't leave the books abandoned for too long so usually like and i think it means like the books are like face down um still opened and i saw on the artist's like instagram post the description is if you leave them abandoned for too long they might start to grow mushrooms or like fungus which i thought was so funny but look at these so all of them say at the bottom don't leave them like abandoned and face down for too long so we've got a pair of like red cap mushrooms and then these ones and then the blue ones or the orange ones and these <laughs> like i think the illustration is so darling i love the paper it's sort of on um kind of like a craft paper type material and then all the backs are also designed it's the same design but in different colors so that was another thing I looked at is whether the bookmarks had a design on the back as well because some some of them are only front printed but I think this will look so beautiful in a book and I know it would look good on the back as well ah I'm so excited to use them but also half tempted to put them in sleeves <laughs> because I don't want the I know like part of the charm will be them getting a little bit worn but I kind of want to protect them so I might put them in sleeves all right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little peek into my life and what I've been up to lately and some of the experiences that have been really inspiring me and some of these little purchases that have just brought me so much joy. I hope you're all doing well and I have a new project, a new creative project that I just started that I'm really excited to share with you all. So stay tuned for that and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Ha <laughs> ha